agrivoltaic means exactly using solar panels okay what they are doing is they are installing solar panels like this like this is solar panels okay and below this solar panels there will be space na there they are growing rearing sheep and goats and swines apart from that this is listen apart from that there are plants which can grow in shadow those shadow loving plants can be grown here and shadow loving plants are called zoophytes zo means shadow phyta means plant similarly plants growing in salt water are called halophytes halo means salt phyta means plant okay plants growing water are called hydrophytes yes or no clear plants growing above another plant are called epiphytes epi means above phyta means plant got it guys singles plants growing in dry condition are called very good xerophytes zero means dry plants growing in extreme cold condition tell me now you know the answer actually extreme cold condition below 0 degree minus degree huh give a try we are discussed in we are discussing uh, launch vehicles 0 degree below 0 degree minus degree this this part is same phyta i have written write the first word you know the answer actually 0 degree below 0 degree minus degree i am telling you know, give the hint huh okay in uh, gslv we make hydrogen into liquid hydrogen minus 253 minus 23 what is that exactly cryophytes clear yes or no why i am discussing this is now let's come back to this halophytes halo means what salt phyta means plant plant which can grow in salt condition is called halophytes what are those very good those are mangroves here mangroves growing in salt water now think the other way the rainfall is deficit or more in india and all the rivers have dried up or they have become drainage just like your musi river what is the fate of musi river it was a river once upon a time what has it has it become drainage not only there near now musi river is everywhere okay in my near my apartment also musi is coming out okay <laughs> similarly there is one uh, river in uh, bangalore called rushabavati rushabha means bull bull ante telugu lo etto same huh? okay etto okay clear from that bull's mouth the water will be coming out that's called rushabavati and now that rushabavati has become kengeri drainage it is a drainage now so when once upon time musi was a river now what has it, it has become drainage so like said rivers are drained they become drainage or they become drained out okay or and there is no rainfall properly even the underground water is depleted now if i wait for this water for the rainfall or the river or for underground water i cannot grow the crops instead of go for technology the best thing is genetic genetic engineering the halophytes are those fire those plants which can grow in salt condition yes or no halophytes are mangroves mangroves grow in salt condition that means they have something called salt tolerant gene they can tolerate salt condition that means there is salt tolerant gene now take this gene from halophytes attach into the paddy and grow paddy in salt water then you can grow, feed the growing population and this is called agri technology this is where genetic engineering can be used do you agree yes or no cactus they are growing in extreme heat condition one 
without water too. That means cactus has heat tolerant gene, heat tolerant gene and cactus has drought tolerant gene. Now cut this gene, attach into the paddy and grow in drought condition no? without water or extreme heat also. Okay. Like this I can feed the growing population by implementing agriculture, by implementing technology in agriculture but with not at the cost of ecology. So the need of R is ecology plus technology, clear? Not only this, as we discussed, grow, install solar panels and in between solar panels the gap where there is place, you can rear ships and goats, okay? Or the shadow created by the solar panel, there grow shadow loving plants, zoophytes. So agriculture plus voltage generation. Agriculture plus voltage generation is called agrivoltaics. Okay, so the technology which can you which you can implement in agriculture is number one genetic engineering, biotechnology. Agriculture means don't think that growing crops is agriculture. No, just by just growing crops is not all agriculture. Agriculture includes growing crops also, rearing animals also, pisciculture also, apiculture also, dairy farming also. Piggery, goat tree, not what they are reading, goat and uh, thing, okay. And even fisheries, okay, vermiculture, dairy products, dairy, and honeybee, what do you say? Apiculture, okay, floriculture, horticulture, viticulture, so many things you can grow. That is what agriculture means. Because just by growing crops, the farmers will be under debt. The subsidiary and help for these farmers are this chicken, goat, sheep, cows and buffaloes. Yes or no? Clear? So how we implement technology here this what? So genetic engineering, no land, do not worry, let us go for aquaponics, hydroponics. Now difference between aquaponics, hydroponics, aquaponics without soil grow in water, okay, hydroponics. But in aqua, aqua hydroponics, along with the along with crops, you can grow the fishes also there. Okay, understood. So genetic engineering, aquaponics, hydroponics, with air you can grow, with moisture your air, and you can grow in the crops and aeroponics. Okay, just in this classroom itself, I can grow agriculture. Just set up the shelves and grow the crops in shelf or grow the crops on the wall. It's called vertical farming. Vertical farming and Israel is top in this vertical farming. You know how much is Israel? How far out of extension? I told you. If I go, yeah, if I go by walk from east to west, it is only four days. If I go by walk from north to west, only seven days. Okay, it is not as big, big as Telangana also. Yes or no? Then, Aram, then that, but agriculture, Israel is top in agriculture. There is one model called Israel type of agriculture model. Without soil, they are growing on the walls. They are growing the crops on the walls. They are growing paddy on the walls, vertical farming. With aeroponics, hydroponics, aquaponics. Okay, got it? Yes or no? And even they are top in vermiculture. What do you say in Telugu, vermi? Artvam. Same thing, even we call the Eravula. Even we call the Eravula. Okay. That, but using that Ere, Eragu. Okay, using that, you can produce manure. And it is called warming compost. But would not be notion that that aerogo that will be everywhere you can get, get it and do it. No. Whatever you feel here, if you see here in the soil, that is it treat soil only. But whatever we do, that it eats the organic waste. And usually we get from Egypt. Is it Egypt species? In warming compost, they use Egypt species, not here. Okay, understood or not? So, like this, we can implement technology.